Hello? Let's take a quick tour around what we get in the project folder. Furs is tutorial folder with all lessons you need and all material links. Then goes preview folder with catalog link. It allows you see fast previews of all included scenes. Then comes the project itself. Also project include most part of scenes as Adobe Illustrator files. Fonts folded speaks to itself. All necessary fonts is here. Fonts. Before you install the project you need to install fonts. Fonts is required for correct displaying of scenes. You will be able to change font to any you want. After download copy all fonts to followed paths. Depends what operating system you use. Then restart resolve to apply changes. Installation. Now we can install the project. To do this simple double click the titles pro.drfx file and then hit install button in DaVinci Resolve. After that you will find all templates and effects window on the edit page. Project settings. Let's create a new project to start using out titles. Go to gear icon in left bottom corner. Originally Titles Pro was created in 4K resolution in 24 frames per second, so it is the perfect settings to use them. But you can use it in Full HD also. Project supports different frame rates too. Here we can set our project resolution and frame rate. Our future timelines will have this settings as default, but you can create timelines with any setting you want. Navigation and Previews Now let's find the scenes we have installed. Go to Effects window. Here you will find Easy Edit Titles Pro V3 folders and titles, generators and effects categories. You can browse scenes by scrolling and clicking on categories. To see animated preview hover your mouse pointer over the scene name. Import and editing. To add title or effect simple drag it to your timeline. You can edit length by dragging the end of title layer. All titles have in and out animations and fixed middle part. All scenes are customizable. All controls grouped in inspector window on the right. Here you can edit text, fonts, colors, move elements and edit whole scene in few clicks. Let's make some changes here. Character Level Styling You can edit separate characters in single text by using Character Level Styling. Select any title you like and go to Inspector. Find the text box you want to edit and right-click. Select Character Level Styling from the menu. If you see this title and active go lower and open insert menu and click character level styling. After that go infusion tab to make some changes. Click magic wand icon on the top right corner. We are in fusion tab now. Select title node. Then select characters by dragging text in preview window. Selected characters will have green frame. Now we can edit selected symbols in inspector window and modifiers tab. Open character level styling menu it allows to change fonts, styles, colors and etc. Explore all these tabs to see all possible changes you can make to this text. Generators also project contains five categories of animated backgrounds. You can find them in effects window in generators category. Add it to the timeline and edit the length as you need. 
All backgrounds start with simple alpha and animation and all animations are looped. Effects There are two categories of effects included. You can find them in effects window and effects category. Effects only works with media layers like photos or videos. Drag them on your media and edit in effects tab on the inspector window. You will have two categories of viewfinders for horizontal and vertical orientation videos. Visit easyedit.pro for more information and awesome templates.